SpaceX's Dragon flying high above the Earth and approaching the International Space Station a little less than 100 meters away. And this is a live look as the capsule flies just over France, about 255 statute miles. Again, less than 100 meters away from its future home for the next month, the International Space Station. As we get this, another great view of Dragon. They're actually flying over Italy already, 255 statute miles over the Earth's surface. Both vehicles traveling a little over 17,000 miles per hour, circling the globe every 92 minutes. Now, though, Dragon continuing to close in a little under 60 meters away. Still getting some pretty great views. Right now, they're just flying over Egypt, about to make a pass over the Red Sea. And then they'll actually pass over Yemen and then the uh, eastern coast of Somalia before heading out over the Arabian Sea. Some station on one for Dragon coming up on 50 meters. We see 51.4 on prize, secondary 50.5. On uh, camera nine, we see the uh, light is within the corridor. The vehicle outline is approximate to the vehicle size. In station on one, we see visiting vehicle mode hold, pry 29.5, secondary 30. We copy. And so with that, the Dragon spacecraft holding at 30 meters away from the International Space Station. That we're at 30 meter hold. Uh, we are performing our assessments on the ground and we'll let you know shortly when you're going to proceed with step four and one decimal 102. And as you can see from this view, the robotic arm itself is now in motion. It's going to position into what's known as high hover. Uh, basically, just it's positioning right before it's ready to drive straight in and capture the vehicle. In motion for uh, high hover. So we see the arm position hold. We copy. The station's robotic arm now in its ready and waiting position. Houston Station on one for Dragon. The crew is ready for Dragon approach to capture point. And we copy that the crew is ready for Dragon approach to the capture point. Station Houston on one. Dragon has begun approach from 30 meters. Monitor per step five and one decimal 102. Station cover. And as you can see, the Earth's surface beginning to darken as they're about to cross that Terminator line. The station pretty soon going to be entering into an orbital nighttime. Houston Station on one for Dragon. We see Pride 27, Secondary 27 in uh, Camera 3. We see the light is in the corridor. The circle, or the vehicle outline matches the uh, vehicle size. The strobe and the circle are slightly forward, about a half a vehicle width uh, length. Dragon continuing to close in on the International Space Station. As you can see, it is an orbital nighttime now. Right now, they're a little under 21 meters away from the station. 
Station Houston on one for a capture window. Station Houston on one, please confirm capture point hold for step six in 1.102. Station on one, uh, we are complete with 4.2. We're beginning to line up with the arm and then we'll start in. And you should see free drift by 1.5. Copy all. And we have confirmation the robotic arm in motion. The latching end effector approaching Dragon. Four meters and closing. Houston, visiting vehicle free drift. Copy. The Canada Arm 2 just one meter away. Initial, initial contact. And we have capture confirmation. The capture coming at 5.54 a.m. Central Time, 6.54 a.m. Eastern Time, while the Station and Dragon flew 256 statute miles over Quebec. So the Canada Arm 2 capture and Dragon while the Station and Dragon flew over Canada.